Oh no, I'm so helpless, JK. I'm a fucking demon, bitch. For those of you who don't already know me, my name's Larissa, and welcome to my channel. I post anime, cosplay, gaming, and kawaii related things here, so if you're into that, definitely click subscribe so you can see more of that content. Today I'll be creating a quick and easy Nezuko cosplay. I'm gonna show you how I made these accessories with affordable and easy to find materials. Oh my god, I sound like an advertisement. But no sewing machine or skills needed. Before we begin, comment below who your favorite character from Demon Slayer is. Okay, so let's get started. So we're gonna first start off with hair and makeup. For my makeup, I just added pops of pink and red around my eyes, my blush, my cheeks, and my lips. And the pink contacts I'm wearing are from Unique So. They kind of look hazel from far away, but if you zoom in a little bit closer, you can see that they're supposed to be pink. It might be because of my lighting and my eyes are naturally dark. Then I curled my hair because I haven't done my roots in over a year and it looks just like Nezuko's hair in a sense, so I thought it was perfect. So now we're gonna be making the accessories. There's gonna be a foam, bamboo mouth guard, and the hairpin, and a belt. So we're gonna start off with Nezuko's belt. The one that she's wearing, it's called Obi belt. I think that's how you pronounce it. But again, we're trying to make it a lot easier. Something where you can kind of even use from day to day, just a pop of a Nezuko type of accessory with your regular outfit. What I did was got one of my old belts, used the paint that I already had, acrylic paint. If you don't have this, again, you can easily buy this online. I get mine from Amazon because it ships really quickly when I need it and it's not that expensive either. First start off with the white paint for a base because if I were to paint over the black the color might not be as vibrant and it just makes it easier because the checkerboard is red and white in the first place. Then you're gonna start with the red paint and start making a checkered pattern. It's kind of repetitive, but I did it in front of my computer so I could watch Netflix, so it was pretty peaceful. Next is going to be the green paint. This is the little green section right here you can see from her belt. What I'm just gonna do is kind of draw a line at the top, make it somewhat thickish, not too thick to cover up the whole top section of the checkerboard pattern, but just enough so it kind of pops, you know, so you can kind of see it. Then just paint until you can get all all the way through the very end. Next we're gonna start off with the orange paint. So if you can see here there is kind of like a little orange tie in the middle. Similar to the green paint just kind of use a light stroke. You don't want to cover too much of the middle section of that checkered board pattern. Just draw a line and then slowly go over the middle part until you reach the very end. And now the belt has dried and is complete so let's put it on our cosplay outfit. <sighs> Don't be like me and make sure the green is on the top when you put the belt on. <laughs> Now we're gonna make Nezuko's pink bow. Honestly, I just got a bobby pin because again, I was just trying to go for easy things that you have around the house already. So all I did was get the ribbon and tie it around the bobby pin a couple of times until it made kind of a little circle and then made a bow, cut the ends basically. So now that's good, let's put our hair to the side. Pin it up to kind of match Nezuko's hairstyle. And there you go, looks very cute. Next is gonna be Nezuko's bamboo mouth guard. So this is made with just foam. I use the, what is that thing called? Like the cardboard toilet paper roll to kind of just give it some shape. And then I just hot glued it down. I kind of cut it in pieces. And foam you can easily buy on Amazon too. I think I got a whole pack for $10. So I think I like divided the amount by $10, making each small sheet about two cents. And then make sure to hot glue the very end again, just to kind of make sure it stays in place. And then cut the sides of the cylinder just to make it even so it can easily fold in and be a lot more symmetrical. Next, cut little slits in the sides. This is just to help when you're folding it in. Once you got your corners and it looks all good after testing it, hot glue each section and just wait a bit until it pulls off and sticks in there. Once you finish both sides, now fold another piece of foam and kind of make these slight strips because you're going to be adding these 
to the corner to pop out. So it's very similar to how the bamboo looks like in Nezuko's mouthpiece. Once you check and the sizes look consistent, now it's time to hot glue these down as well. I messed up here. I should have lined up the part where it meets the green foam that covers the cardboard roll, but I didn't do that. So I'm just trying to make sure now that I start to line it up afterwards. So this way, this is going to be the part that you hide towards your mouth. Again, hot glue the corners so the edges will stay in and it's not sticking out. And then you're going to want to do the same for the other side. And again, make sure the ends that meet are aligned at the same place as the other side. Now you're going to have two other small strips, very similar to the ones that we just did, but a lot thinner. This is just to create that pattern again on the mouthpiece. And you are just gonna kind of measure to see if you can make it equal between the sides. So you can kind of check and measure. Then you're just gonna run the hot glue down so you can make it straight and even. And follow the outside strip to make sure it's aligned and it's not getting crooked. And again, the ends should meet similar to the other strips. And do the same for the second one. And there you go. That's for the bamboo piece, what we're gonna wanna do next is now get the ribbon that allows you to actually wear it. So I got pink ribbon. I think it should be red, but I had pink ribbon for the bow. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just going to use this for the mouthpiece as well. So cut a good amount because it's a lot easier for you to cut off if it's too long versus cut a piece that's too short and then you're just going to have to start all over. Cut a long piece, then measure it again to cut another even piece. And then what you're going to want to do now is tape it down to the the inside of the mouthpiece of the foam cylinder. So this will help it stay in place before you apply the hot glue to make it stay permanently. <laughs> then apply the hot glue. It's a little bit hard because it's kind of small, but what I just kind of did was put it on top and let it dry. I didn't really push it down or anything. It just kind of stayed afterwards. But yeah, so here's the finished bamboo prop. So let's go ahead and put it on. Honestly, I'm surprised that the ribbon worked. I knew it was part of the cosplay because you can see it in the anime when you're watching it, but I don't know in my head I was like I don't see how that physics work but then I tried it on and I put it over my ears and it actually stayed and it's soft too yay oh my god it's coming together Woohoo! okay so now here is the final look of these accessories honestly I had curled my hair and wore the outfit and everything looks so cute but I am dumb and I forgot to change or at least check the focus. So I had to re-record and I was too lazy to curl my hair again. So here you can see it a lot clearer. <laughs> you can see my cosplay a lot clearer and everything. So yeah, <laughs> but I'm actually really happy with how I made the accessories. I'm very surprised with the foam mouth guard. I, I really like how it came out. But yeah, I hope this helps inspire you to try to make small cosplay props or accessories, especially if you can't full on go cosplay mode and sew an amazing or crazy outfit yet or create like an intense huge sword or prop this is just kind of a nice way to get into the field of cosplay i know i'm still learning and i'm having a really fun time learning so i hope you had fun watching this video and if you did please like if you haven't already comment below who your favorite demon slayer character is subscribe for more cosplay and anime related content and ring the bell so you know when my next video is up Okay, bye friends. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!